Hey, it's Bill. Welcome back to the shop. I've got this old um, wet dry grinder that uh, has ran a little bit too long, and the gear here has gotten a little bit of wear and pushed its plastic pieces out to the side. But what we're going to do today is we're going to start removing the shaft. We're going to replace these bearings. It's loose. The reason behind that is I'm going to want to put, or I'm going to want to plant to mount this plate on there so I can do some honing, uh, some fine honing. We use a diamond compound on here and I'll be able to do uh, honing of carbides. And right now it's just a little, it's a little too loose on there. And the bushings are nice and tight so we'll probably open this hole up to allow the bushings to go on to hold, hold the smooth plate in place. You get a nice smooth, slow action whereas from a regular grinder it's way too fast. And it's a good way to hone cutting tools for the lathe and the, and the shaper when we get to that. So I'm going to pull this shaft out, get the gear off, get the bushings out, and take a look at what the bushings are. So I got the pin that holds this worm gear on in place a little bit out from the other side. And I'm going to see if I can't pull it. No, that's not going to pull out of there easily. I'm going to keep trying to drive it a little further in. May only go a little further. just a roll pin but it's really tight so we finally got the pin out I should be able to get the shaft out of here that washer and here's the worm gear you can see the damage that was done down there and it wasn't sitting quite on the center it was pushed off to the side we'll clean that up it's going to be fine for the next operation that we're going to be, or at least the operation that we're going to be using for honing that doesn't have to have a lot of strength. We might be able to come back and make a new one of these later. There we go. We'll machine a new one of these out of brass. Give it a longer life. And quite a bit more rigidity. That's just too loose. So we got these two bushings out. It turns out that the hammer that I was using is the exact right size to make two new bushings from. It's just brass. Um, they're not going to be as long as these. I'm going to have to split this in half. But we'll turn down the OD, bore it. We'll actually do two of them almost at once and then part it in half. And we'll get our two new replacement bushings. We'll make a, a print first. So we have something to work off of and get this over in the lathe. So we made a little print as to what we're going to make. This is the replacement bushing. It's going to be 15 minute or 15 millimeter shoulder length, uh, 2.5 millimeter shoulder, uh, 24 millimeter OD. We're going to have to bring that down though because the mounting part is kind of tapered. And we're going to go with a 16.88 millimeter internal diameter, which is just at the shaft size. And then bring it out a little bit. We'll fit the shaft to size in the machine.
I'm going to make a mark as to where or how far down I'm going to turn to. Now we talked about the fact that the other piece, the mating piece, isn't quite 24 millimeters. It's it's awkward. I'm gonna go take the other piece off and we'll fit it up here in the lathe. Here's the transmission housing, and these are the two holes. They're not they're just kind of raw cast. Like this one's 23.9, 23.9. 23.9 I mean just on that and this one is this was 24 so we may have a match for this one and this is just going to be we're going to have to size this to fit so we need to turn a little bit more off of the front of this one and we'll mark it for this side. Okay, that one's complete.
So we've got the, the bushings in the part. We'll get it back on the machine, get the shaft back in, get the gear back in, and hopefully it runs nice and true.